Welcome to the Clarion Focus session here at Consulting Unleashed. So today we're talking about um, uh, fast action, fast steps to generate clients. And a lot of people often ask me what I would do to go and get clients or quickly in the marketplace. So, you know, what, what, what strategy, what tactical things would I do? And so I sat down and I just thought about like if I was really under pressure, right, and I really had to go and generate revenue and cash flow on clients, what are some of the key things that I would do immediately to open the door to generating those sorts of revenue opportunities? And that's essentially what I'm going to be walking you through today, uh, covering some of those ideas. And at the end of this, I'm more than happy to answer some questions uh, to be able to uh, to be able to to help you. So we're going to get right into it. I have got uh, I've just put some markers and some slides together just so uh, this gives you some perspective. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen. Uh, so here we are, uh, we are talking about fast ways to get clients, okay? So um, for me, uh, it always starts with a plan. What do I need? So number one, when I wanna go and generate fast clients in a marketplace, I've got to think about, you know, uh, uh, you know uh, the idea of, in my head is, let's get to the next paying customer. That is my number one goal in my business. If I'm the salesperson in my business, it's get to the next sales. If I've got salespeople working in my organization, which I have, for them, it's getting them to the next sale. That's the goal. So what have I got to do? So that way I'm not thinking about, oh, I've got to go and make 10, 20 sales or five, you know, what, however many sales I've got to generate for my business. I'm focusing on just getting to the next person to put revenue in my bank account. So my next part of that question is, um, uh, you know, I want to plan out very quickly what I would do and what I'm going to take you through are things that I would do, sit down immediately if I was sitting down, even with, you know, if I had my iPad, which I do beside me, I'm not going to do this in real time. Uh, I would sit down and go, great, this is what I'm going to do. And this is what I've got to make happen right now to generate my revenue. And so for me, focusing on those activities or focusing on these things and the execution of these things will actually be first and foremost above anything else I do. It's not about building funnels. It's not about, you know, setting up your automations. It's not about making sure your website's fantastic. It's not about creating that lead magnet or that blog post or anything like that at all. The idea is that you have a skill and you have a, a way of solving a problem. And ultimately, you can deliver a result to the marketplace, right? You can deliver results to the marketplace. So I want to think about what is the best result that I can deliver to the marketplace, right? So if, I've, if I'm really good at Facebook ads and I know I can get patients for health practices, then I want to be able to engage people in the health market or health niche to let them know and say, hey, I've got a system, I've got a strategy, I've got a process that is designed to do the very thing that you need in your business consistently. If I had a way to show you how you can consistently get these opportunities and we work closely together so that you can actually see those results and that revenue bank account, would you like to just see that process? Could I share, or more importantly, who can I teach what I know so that then I can ask them if they would like my help? That is the question that I'm going to be asking. So my first point of call is getting friendly, right? We've got to go to our familiar and our friends list. In fact, a lot of the people I'm working with, even some of our champions this month, went back to their familiar list and generated some clients. We had uh, a few people that had got customers from their familiar list. I had Cassie. She went to a familiar list, right? She sat there and said, hey, I'm really good at building e-com websites and I know how to get things up really fast in a Shopify store. And all I asked her to do, I said to Cassie, well, let's go and talk to your friends, family, associates and colleagues say, listen, have you thought about starting a Shopify store if you're an existing brick and mortar business and you've got a product range or product category and you want to launch into the market to make it easy for people to find you as opposed to you having to have people come to your store, then can I talk to you about that? She made that offer to about 30 people. Four people came back to her and said, yes, Cassie, I want to know more about how to do this. And before the end of the week, she closed two deals for $15,000. The fifteen thousand dollars, thirty grand, right? To open up two Shopify stores with people off her familiar list, right? So for me, who, what, what is you know, with, with my familiar list, what is my offer? My offer is I can, I've got this idea, I've got this ability to to get this result. I'm really good at Facebook ads. I'm really good at AdWords. I'm really good at building amazing websites to convert sales. I'm really good at understanding sales automation. I'm really good at uh, at uh, email marketing. I'm really good at graphic design. I'm really whatever you're really good at, right? Think about packaging it up and who would benefit the most in your friends and familiar list and find 
go go to the market and say, hey, here's what I'm working on right now. I'm really good at doing this. Do you know anybody that needs this type of help? I have a system or a process or a structure or a strategy. I'd love to show it to somebody, right? And if you're interested, I'm more than happy to show you how it works or how you can apply it. Now, at the end of that, when you get the opportunity with some, somebody saying yes, then you show them, you teach them what you know. And then from there, you can say, look, you can do all this yourself or I've got a team, you can hire us and we can get this done for you. Would you like us to help you put this into place? It is the easiest offer that you can make and most people don't make this offer, but it's the easiest offer you make and it's one of the easiest sales that you can make. So letting get, let's get friendly is all about going to friends, colleagues, associates, family, uh, um, connections, people who you know, people you've spoken to. Now to extend that for me a list, it's like your dentist, your doctor. So this is not about focusing in on a niche. This is about you generating a sale or getting to revenue. And you're saying to me, John, I need to get revenue. This is the fastest way that I want to get rid of you. I want to put an offer into my familiar market and I want to follow that offer up and say, hey, do you know anybody? That's number one. So whatever you do, whatever you're really good at, think about the best case scenario of how to get a result for your client and say, great, if I can show you the best case scenario, the best plan that's going to optimize and get you the outcome, can I walk you through what that looks like? And at the end of that, you say, hey, what do you think about this? And they go, this is great. Now, sometimes when you ask that, what do you think about question? They're going to turn around and say, you know what? Can you help me? How much is it going to cost us to do this? So it puts you in the front seat of making an offer. Another way in this get friendly, let's get friendly strategy is if you think about your list and you think about your offer, the easiest, lowest hanging fruit are people that you feel that would be receptive or comfortable having a conversation with you. So you might pick two or three people out of your list to say, hey, I need your help on something. Can I walk you through something? And then say, hey, you know, are you interested in putting this into place? So people that you have a level of comfort that you would show or share uh, with, uh, those are the people that, that, are, that are the easy, lowest hanging fruit. So let's get friendly. This is the number one go-to place that I go to to generate clients. And also I do this every month. I go to my friendly list and I ask my friendly list for introductions every single month. In our agency, I know a lot of people in our niche, in our market, and I'm constantly asking, say, who do you know? Who can you introduce to? So let's get friendly is a very powerful way to very quickly put yourself into the pocket for generating clients immediately. So let's offer to help, right? Now, here's the thing. Um, uh, my thing with the let's offer to, offer to help is uh, there are people who are confused. There are people who've been burnt. There are people who've been, uh, who don't understand. Uh, there are people who uh, are unsure or feel scared about uh, put, dipping their toe in digital marketing or online marketing strategies, right? So one of the things that I find that works really well is to actually go out to, uh, this could be my familiar list, but I like to do, do this in social networks, in my LinkedIn. Uh, I like to join business groups. Uh, if I was in a Facebook group, I wouldn't be joining uh, an internet marketing Facebook group. I would be joining a business Facebook group. Now in the business Facebook group, I would offer to help, right? So I might say right now, uh, you know, we're in uh, the, the time of uh, you watching this uh, video, if you're watching a replay. And right now, for those who are with me uh, on this call, we're in some really uncertain and interesting and volatile times. And so things have changed. Our message has to change the way we communicate, even what we focus on right right now, how uh, online has become extremely relevant and very, very important to nearly every business on the planet. Right, especially those that need access or have customers who access or who are looking for information when it comes to their products or services in the marketplace. Right, so the idea of the offer to help is offered to, and when I say help, I mean really help. Right, sit there and say, Hey, I know people, or you might sit and say, Look, you might have been burnt on your Facebook ad strategy. And one of the things that I know is there's it's not, it's not so much that you've been burnt, but it just hasn't worked for you. So if I was able to sit down and actually look at what you've done, maybe make some adjustments or maybe make some recommendations so that you are getting a better result, then is it worthwhile actually seeing it, seeing how it actually does work as opposed to thinking that it doesn't? Because in every market, right, if I look at Facebook ads, uh, there are people that have shown me campaigns that have been absolute bombs. And in the very same market, I've seen campaigns that have been astronomically successful in the same markets. And the difference between the two is just strategy or optimization or uh, the, the, uh, the understanding of the customer behavior or avatar, or more importantly, the optimization of a campaign, you know, to run some tests. So the offer would be, or the offer to help say, listen, 
Uh, most, you know, if you're going to go out to the market where people felt they've been burnt by other marketers in, in the in the in the market, and by the way, when people say that they have been burnt, oftentimes I find when you really dig into the story, they either have not given uh, uh, the, the company that they're working with enough time to get the results, uh, they haven't actually help themselves by actually following up on all the leads and the information that's been provided by the company that they hired. And so they may feel the easiest thing to do is to blame the people who are running the strategy. The problem with that is, is that they just don't understand why it didn't work. And more importantly, they, the re they wanted to make it work. So in the let's offer to help, I'm saying, hey, one of my strategies is to go after the market who has been burned or perhaps perceives that have been burned or they feel like they're not getting the result. They're trying something and they're not getting the result that they're, they're trying to generate. So my offer to this market would be, let me fix it. Let me have a look at it. Let me help you understand how to actually make it work. I'm happy to give you that time, that energy to show you through that process. And at the end of that, you can decide whether or not we can work together or you can decide whether or not we can help each other. So the offer to help, a really simple strategy, Tanner, one of the guys that I work in Consulting Champions, did this strategy and picked up $20,000 of the recurring revenue in a week. And all he did was he was in a business Facebook group with, with other businesses in his city and he made this one offer. He says, hey, I know a lot of people struggle to make Facebook work right now. And if you feel that your campaign isn't working, isn't getting the results and you're frustrated, I would love to just let me help you. Let me have a quick look and maybe we can get things working for you. So if you're interested, I'm more than happy to just help you to make sure that you are maximizing or optimizing your opportunity to get a result. If you're interested, just let me know. Or if you want to, ask me the questions here and, I'm, and I may be able to help you. But I will help you better if I can see what's going on because sometimes it's one adjustment or one tweak that can make all the difference in a campaign. So if you need some help, just reach out to me. I'm more than happy to, to give you that time, right? So there was no hint of an offer to work with them. There was no hint of anything. They went in, uh, Tanner looked at their campaign, saw where the mistakes were being made, saw that campaigns weren't optimized, saw that ads were the, the creative and the strategy was wrong and explained to them, this is what's gonna happen. And at the end of that explanation, the person, uh, Tanner said to say, look, if you want to, I can do this for you, right? Or, um, you know, you need, to, you need to sit down with whoever's in charge. And if they're not doing it for you right now, they're not going to be doing it in the future. This is work, right? So I'm more than happy to help if you want me to help. If you want to do that, let's do that. Out of seven people that reached out to Tanner, four, four of them said yes. $5,000 a month in management fees to get their campaigns up and running and, and working uh, correctly. Offer, let's offer to help. Who can I help? with this idea, with this strategy, how can we work together? That is one of the fastest ways that you're gonna open the door to people who are sitting there going, yeah, I need some help, right? So if you come in with that value proposition, you're gonna dramatically improve your opportunity to generate sales. The next one, create, create the ridiculous offer. I love the ridiculous offer. I generally create, the, for me, a ridiculous offer is an offer that I create at the end of the month. Uh, I use the end of the month as an excuse to, re, to create the ridiculous offer. Now, the ridiculous offer is designed to get one customer over the line, one client. Not, not, you can get more than one, but the idea is to just get somebody to buy and buy. So here's what I mean by the ridiculous offer, right? What you want to do, and I'll give you an example of Brad, one of, the, one of the champions that I work with. So Brad took this idea of the ridiculous offer and he turned it into $60,000 worth of, worth of work. Uh, picked up four clients out of it, 15 grand per client. So $60,000 worth of work with the ridiculous offer. So Brad came to me and he says, hey, John, look, I, I really need to get some cash flow and I really need to get some clients and I've got to do it right now, right? Now, Brad was really good at building e-commerce stores. Like he was uh, uh, brilliant at, uh, he, was, uh, he was a Magento guy, right? So he used to build, he used to build amazing Magento uh, e-com uh, sites and he would charge people uh, I think his starting price point was like 20 grand, 20 grand and up, right? But he was sitting and saying, John, I've got to make some cash flow and I've got to get some cash flow right now. So I said, okay, well, well, how many people you got on your list? That was my first question. How many people you got that we can go to, to, we, to make an offer? And we need to make a ridiculous offer. And he looked at me really straight. He said, what do you mean by ridiculous offer? I said, well, you're going to make money on this offer. You will profit from this offer, but it has to be ridiculous. And what we're going to do is because we're coming up to the end of the month, we're going to use the end of the month as a conversion strategy as to offer that scarcity, right? 
uh, to get somebody over the line because he needed money and he said, I need to make money now. Like I've got, you know, we've got some things going on. I've got to make some cash. So I said, great, let's come up with a ridiculous offer. I said, so what are you normally charging for your e-com sites? He says, well, normally we charge, you know, uh, at the base point uh, with a certain number of SKUs, it's 20 grand, but our average website, uh, our average e-com site is about $30,000, right? I said, great, um, does it take you more time, right? You know, the fundamental structure and all that sort of stuff for the 20 to 30 grand uh, site, does it take you more time to do the 30 grand site? So, well, it's a little bit more time, but it's just the infrastructure is different, right? Okay, great. So my, here's my question. Would you be willing to give the 30 grand site for 15 grand to one person just so you can get some cash in the door? The 30 grand website for 15 grand just to get cash in the door, one person. But that 15 grand is an upfront payment. You're gonna take the cash upfront. So you don't have to do time payment. You're not gonna do 50% down. You're not gonna do time payment. You're just gonna do the deal and they must buy upfront right? Not, not any time. I'm going to give you two examples of how this works. So they must pay you now, right? Uh, it's not time payment, blah, blah, blah. They're just going to say, look, yeah, I'd love to do it and I'm ready to go. So the ridiculous offer was for him to build a structured site, one that he would normally sell $30,000 for. And he say, listen, I want to help one person. We've got a gap in our, in our time frame, and I want to do something ridiculous. If you've been thinking about getting your store up and running, we want to give you our premium offering for a store at half the price. We can only do this for one person and we can only do this in the next 48 hours. So if you're really keen and you're really interested in the next 48 hours, you have to agree. We have to uh, uh, work on the project, right? Um, uh, if you're interested, you need to let me know in the next 48 hours. After the next 48 hours, it'll be a new month. We're going to go back to normal, get back into the 30 grand site. So we're going to provide our premium product to one person in the next 48 hours, right? So they took the 30 grand deal, turned into a 15 grand deal. Uh, articulated the value proposition, put that message out to 60 people, 60 people. Four people said yes. Now he only had room for one, but four people said yes to the deal. 60K, right, 60K by the end of that week, which ran over into the new month. Before he collected all the money, it took him about five days to collect all the money. It was $60,000 that he got paid in cash upfront to do four sites, right? Now, here's the crazy thing with Brad, right? This idea is not to devalue what you do. Here's the crazy thing with Brad. Brad, before I spoke to him, was doing the same types of websites, those 30 grand websites. He used to charge seven grand for them. Six and a half to seven grand for these 30 grand websites, right? So he was still making double of what he would normally charge to do something that he was charging at a much lesser rate in this thing. So this is a ridiculous offer. Another ridiculous offer uh, deal that, that, uh, that worked really well was I was sitting down with somebody and this person, their, their expertise was they were brilliant at marketing you as an influencer. So they would take your book, right? And they would create a, 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 with their strategy and literally within less than three months, they would actually create a strategy that you would generate about half a million dollars worth of revenue out of your book. So he was working with people who authors who were influencers in their market. And he would say, great, let's take your book, turn it into a business generator. We have a system that we can plug into, right? And, uh, and we know that we've done this over and over again. We've helped people generate up to a half a million dollars worth of revenue within three months with their book, right? So he was really good at this strategy. He was very good at strategy, worked with a lot of people. And he was sitting there and, and we we're having this conversation and he's saying, you know, I don't charge people enough for this deal i said well what do you mean what do you normally charge people he says well i normally charge people about 20 grand to do this deal right but really when you think about the value proposition you know 20 grand for for you know we've got clients that are generating four sometimes six hundred thousand dollars in a in a in a 30 in a 90 day period using our strategy and I, I kind of feel frustrated because we do a lot of work to make that happen and we get none of that back end we don't make any money on the back end Right. And so I said, great. Well, if you're only charging 20, what, what do you think you should be charging? He said, we should be charging 50 grand all day long. Right. We should be charging $50,000 for this, for this plan, for this project, for clients. Cause at the end of the day, we more than 10 X uh, the investment or the return uh, to the client. But now you're charging 20, you want to charge 50. Right. So we have to build the value proposition in this 50 grand. Right. So he sat there and he said, and this was the deal. This was a ridiculous deal. He says, 
I can, I'm going to offer this to only four people, right? Four people. Now, uh, he didn't sell four, right? Ultimately, he did sell, he sold out of this down the track, but initially he got two deals within 24 hours by doing this deal, right? So his ridiculous offer was 40 grand down, right? Guaranteed half a million dollars revenue in 90 days. 40 grand down, guaranteed half a million dollars worth of revenue in, uh, in 90 days. That was his deal, right? But you had to pay the money up front. You had to pay the money up front. So he explained the proposition of what he would do, how that would work, what that looks like. And he went out to, he only sent this out to about 30 people. Four people ended up buying, but two people bought straight away, right? Two people bought straight away. And the next day, within 24 hours, because I was at a conference when we did this, he came to me and showed me the deposits in his bank account. Two people deposited 40 grand cash, uh, uh, literally had agreed and sent the payment and sent him a receipt. And he showed me the receipts within 24 hours, $80,000 cash within 24 hours by making a direct offer with a result attached to it. Now it was a ridiculous offer because it was a ridiculous drop. But I said, if you're gonna make this offer, you have to uh, uh, fulfill on the deal. He says, I know we can crush it. In fact, the 500K, we would just, we would go beyond that, right? But the, I wouldn't guarantee it if we couldn't do it, right? So he knew he was, who he was targeting. He wasn't targeting everybody. He was targeting a group of people, right? He had about 30 people to go to in the market. Four people bought, two people bought straight away, two people bought the, the offer a little bit down the track, right? But literally straight away by creating a ridiculous offer, right? And making it scarcity, time sensitive, right? To the market generated those outcomes. But here's the other cool thing. A ridiculous offer doesn't have to be so bodacious or audacious, bodacious, or audacious in its offer. A ridiculous offer could be something like, most people give this away, but they don't realize they give this away, is your time right? You might charge for, you don't, might not charge for strategy, right? When you should charge for strategy. So if you're doing discovery or planning or work for workflow throughs with clients to be able to onboard and make that, most people don't charge for that time. And so what you want to do is you want to value that time. So you might sit there and say, Hey, for us to do the work through, it might be 10 grand or it might be five grand or it might be three grand or it might be $2,000, right? And because you give this away anyway, and you don't value it, if you place a value on that, right? then you open the door to generating that outcome of saying, hey, this is an attractive offer if I'm gonna give you this time. So the ridiculous offer could be, let, let us, let our team and our creative and our design team give you $5,000 towards your marketing strategy so that you can run a more effective and optimized campaign. If you decide to do this now, we can only do this for one person, we're gonna have our creative, our copy and our optimization team working very closely on this campaign. We normally charge $5,000 for that team to get together to optimize your campaign. We're gonna give that to you to one person for free, right? So that's a huge offer. And you can make that offer to one or to, for one person to come on board or two people. Scarcity for this type of offer is very, very powerful, right? Make a ridiculous offer, generate a, a ridiculous opportunity. Uh, hire a bird dog. So bird dog is, a, a, is an old line. So there's a guy called Joe Girard. Joe Girard, if you look up Joe Girard, he was probably, he's recognized in the Guinness Book of Records as one of the greatest salespeople in the world. In fact, uh, he, he held that record for quite a number of years. And his thing was, uh, Joe was a, a car salesman uh, out of Detroit, Michigan, who never, who only sold belly to belly, one on one. He never actually sold fleet cars. He didn't do group sales or anything like that. He sold individually, personal, one-on-one. -on -one. And one of the concepts that he talked about was this concept of every customer that bought a car off me, I hired them as a bird dog. So what he meant by bird dog? So what is a bird dog? Bird dog is a dog, say, if, if, you know, hunting terminology. If you go out hunting in the woods and you have your dog, the dog will go and pick up your, your kill and bring it back to you. That's a bird dog, right? So essentially, this is a referral partner. This is somebody that you're gonna actually pay to generate a referral. You can pay them a fee or a portion or a percentage of a deal that they introduce you to. So you hire people to be, who are, who are strategic partners or who are people who have access to types of customers or businesses you work with and say, listen, um, I'm helping people to get this outcome. Uh, I know you know people in the marketplace. If you introduce me to a person, I'm happy to pay you X amount of dollars for every deal that we close. And so I have a friend of mine, Stephen, who does this brilliantly. He, what he does is he works with 
uh, business consultants, like business coaches. And you say to a business coach, listen, most of your businesses really screw up when it comes to marketing. Like you're all about, you know, process systems, operations, management. But one of the areas you know that they fail at is you know that they fail with marketing. And so he built a relationship with a handful of business coaches who that's what they did. They solved problems uh, for businesses operationally, uh, leadership wise, management wise, change management, that sort of stuff. But they went into marketing and since to say, look, most of these guys, if you hear your company or the person you speak to say that they need to fix their website, if you refer that person to me, I'll give you $500 every time you give me a referral, cash. Every time you give me a referral, you get 500 bucks. Every time you refer a client, that you get $500. So he basically hired five business coaches. Those five business coaches in any one given month, he would average two to three deals every single month from business coaches introducing him directly. So think about the relationship that a business coach has with their client, right? It's pretty close. If a business coach recommends somebody, right, then they're pretty much, it's a lay down misere that it's gonna be a high job, right? Now, Steve does a great job at uh, what he does is he does websites, but he does the automation in the back end. He, he focuses on the functionality of a website. So he makes it work, right? He puts in landing pages, optimizes through email marketing campaigns, does all that sort of stuff. And the average uh, price for a website with Steve is about 20 grand. He charges about $20,000 for a functional uh, type, uh, you know, five, 10 page website, pretty basic but it's got functionality in database management. Uh, uh, there's automation processes and stuff like that that he plugs in to a website that he builds. And so the website is a functional working website. So what he did with the guys that he uh, got out there and hired, he says, let me build one of those sites for you, right? So that you can demonstrate, so you know that it actually works. And when you talk to your client, you can do this, but I'll give you one of these websites at cost, right? So I'll build this site at my expense at cost for you. So you're going to pay me money. It's free. It's not free. I'm going to build it to your cost. You're going to have an amazing website. It's going to convert, do all the things you want it to do, right? But if you refer clients to me, I will pay you a fee. His fee for a referral was $500 referral. If you refer me to a client, $500. And he would do it in, like somebody say, cash, right? So he would actually get an envelope, put cash in it, right? Here's the envelope for the cash, right? Because they love the cash. Some of these business coaches have referred dozens and dozens of clients to Steve. Dozens of clients. Hire a bird dog team to go and generate clients for you. Hey, if you know anybody and I get the deal, I'll give you an incentive, right? So you incentivize the, uh, incentivize the purchase. Uh, Joe Girard did this with every person, every single person that bought a car off Joe, he would, he would sit there and say, you introduce me to another person, you will get a fee, right? Uh, you, you'll get a percentage of the sale, right? Uh, in, in the deal. And of course, what do they do, right? They go and refer customers to him. He didn't have to work too hard to become the most successful salesperson on the planet because if you sold 3,000 cars in a year, right, then that's a lot of people going out there sharing uh, uh, your, uh, your opportunity. So refer paying for incentivized referral, not a strategy I often talk about, but it works. It does work. Who's somebody who you know that is willing, that is willing to introduce you to clients and that you would be happy to provide an incentive or a percentage of the deal, right? Uh, offer the new thing. So this is something that a lot of people, I, I, oftentimes uh, what I would do is uh, think about, you know, if you've got a new strategy, a new idea, or there's a new thing in retargeting, or there's something that's new that's happening in advertising. So right now, the guaranteed, uh, 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 guaranteed uh, ads, the social local ads that you can do on Google, uh, they're very optimized. They're actually very inexpensive. They're cheaper than standard AdWords, right? So if you look at Google local services ads, uh, they are a very powerful thing. So right now that's new, right? Uh, two, you become very visible very easily. In fact, you look really visible on uh, on a mobile phone and because you've got ratings, it's this, Google is saying that this is a legitimate business that delivers great results, right? That's essentially what you're, you're getting almost a semi-referred uh, inducement or endorsement by Google by using these types of ads. Now these ads, they, they can actually, uh, uh, from a, a customer acquisition point, they can actually drop your call rate and customer acquisition, uh, uh, acquisition cost down to by 30%. So you imagine if you're paying 30 bucks for a, a, a lead that you can get now a lead, the same lead, but for $10. In fact, a better qualified lead for $10. So this is something new. If I was in the AdWords game, I would be saying, hey, can I just show you that you should be doing Google local services ads? If I was working for local people, if I had local businesses in the local market in categories, 
I would look at those businesses and say, listen, you need to, this is the type of advertising you need. This is a direct call. It's a direct uh, prospective customer who's interested in buying your services and you can get it for probably half to one third of the cost that you're paying for a Google ad. Can we talk to you about that? That is a no brainer offer into the marketplace. And it's a new thing. It's something that's happening right now. It's very relevant. Google is starting to creep into that real estate at the top end of that search bar in Google, in that, in that search uh, window in Google. That is something that you should be offering. If you're on AdWords, that's something I would offer to the market right now. Hey, do you wanna see the new thing from Google that's crushing it and giving you a 30% discount on ads? Yes or no, that's a great offer to go to the market. Now, Facebook, it might be, you might, if you don't talk about retargeting, maybe you talk about retargeting. Imagine you could be visible everywhere with only people who are interested in your product or service, right? What if I could make you visible to every single person? The only person that can see you are people who are interested in buying your product or service. Would that be a cool thing to look at? Would that be a cool strategy? If you create that offer as the new thing, say, hey, this is something new. A lot of businesses don't do this, but for pennies on the dollar, you could look like Coca-Cola right? Imagine you being visible to the, only the people who are interested in what you have to offer. And these are the people who only have, they've already, right? They already know your brand. They already know who you are. But what you're going to do is you're going to place your offer in front of them everywhere. If I can show you how that works, right? Are you interested in getting a low cost strategy to get better conversions on sales? This is, that could be your new thing, right? Sales automation and follow-up could be your new thing. Hey, we do lead generation, but one thing that we found is most people get leads, but they don't convert them. What if we were able to show you a really simple system to guarantee that you're gonna improve your conversions through automation on the sales? What is the new thing that you can offer to the marketplace, right? Uh, can we be partners? Now, I love this strategy because right now, a lot of people are actually saying yes to this idea. If you're generating leads or you've got a list, lead list yourself, my question is, who else would want to sell to your list, right? And, and, the, and the other side of the coin is, who has your list? Oftentimes, in fact, you can, and I'll share with you a really simple strategy here. If you know somebody who's got a list and you've got a list of people, how can you cross-pollinate offers to that list and do a joint venture partnership, right, for revenue? So you must say, hey, we've got a, you know, a list of 7,000 people who are contacting this market. I would love to run a campaign, a proper campaign for your services to that market and maybe we can work something out on generating revenue. Or let's do a list swap, right? Let's run a campaign to this market and do a profit share and then let's run a campaign to your market and do a profit share on what I do. It's amazing how many people say, hey, are you interested in new partnerships to open up channels for revenue and sales? I've got a database of customers that are prime, that are perfect for your target market group or for your product category. I'd love to be able to talk to you about that. It, most times, often when you look at that strategy, people will say yes. Hey, are you interested in looking at partnership opportunities to cross pollinate uh, uh, an opening into a client list that you don't have right now? If we can have a conversation around that, it's one of the easiest ways to start a conversation. And oftentimes your partner is gonna think, is gonna ask you, so what do you do? And oftentimes they need your help. Uh, I know through our agencies, we have uh, uh, what we call uh, our channel partners that we work with very closely. Oftentimes they see our capability and what we actually do and they ask us, can we do it for them? And so we turn our partners into our clients. And because then they become our clients and we help them get results, then they actually go and really drive uh, the opportunity for those referrals that they have into their markets. So can we be partners is one of the, one of the core strategies uh, to maximize growth. Uh, it's been a while, right? To me, it's been a while. So sometimes people aren't ready to buy. And so I want to collect all the people, like I would pull out the last two years, every single person I spoke to and made a presentation to, made a pitch to that didn't buy. I would pull out the last two years and put that on the table. And what I want to do is I want to reignite, I want to reignite the relationship, right, or the connection to that person. So what do I do? I'm going to reach out to them. I'm going to make a list category. So from the people who have, let's say, from the first, last three months, that will be one list. From three months to six months, that would be another list. From six months, from, from 12 months to a year, that would be another list. So I'd have three or four piles, right? And so often when you look at that, that some of you might have 20 or 30 people you can go to right now, right? That you can generate revenue and sales from by just asking, do you need some help, right? But here's the thing. The reason why I love this list or love this, this strategy is these people already know who you are. You've already asked them a whole bunch of questions. So you understand and know their business. They know what you're offering. They know how much you charge uh, and they have had some rapport with you. 
So it's not difficult to reignite your relationship with these people. So here's the thing. Um, uh, what I would do is to say, especially the ones that are close, I would assess those that were interested. I would say, hey, listen, for whatever reason, it didn't go ahead. Are you still interested in doing this? Or my question is, what did you do? What have you been working on? And maybe we can help, right? Or my, my favorite one is, look, how are things going? Did you apply the strategies that we talked about uh, on that day? And most people will say no. And then you can ask that question, look, are you still interested in looking at what's happening right now? Because things have changed since the last time we spoke. There are new things that are happening or new ideas or new strategies. It might be worthwhile sitting down again and just going through some of those ideas. This is one of the fastest ways that you can pick up clients from people who already know you. Uh, Lauren, one of our champions, picked up a $5,000 deal of somebody she spoke to six months ago. Uh, we've had several people in Champions this month use this strategy and pick up clients from six, one person from somebody I spoke to two years ago, Martin, picked up a client where he had a conversation two years ago with this guy and said, hey, are you ready now? Are you, are you interested in seeing what's happened? And have picked up clients. To me, this is one of the fastest ways is go to people you've already built a relationship with, you've already made an offer to, you've already, they've already built that rapport, right? All you want to do is say, do you need some help, right? This is, these are very easy sales to make. So uh, there's some key things that you want to generate sales with immediately. We're doing something really cool on the 18th of June. Uh, uh, my, web, uh, my web audit and consulting leash, uh, Cliff Alameda and his team, we've gotten together to create a, an event called a web event for good. And it's a website sales intensive. So the idea is I'm actually gonna be sharing with you concepts and strategies on how you can create really powerful value added propositions and convert those into clients that'll spend between five and six figures in your services. This is a four hour mastermind uh, on these strategies. There's gonna be some tools, resources uh, given to you. In fact, uh, the $97 is also designed to be uh, uh, helping three key sustainable pro projects in the world. So this is a cause that we are, these are causes that we're supporting. Um, and this is a web event for good. And the ticket sales go towards uh, supporting some amazing uh, organizations that are doing some incredible things in the world. So uh, for $97, it's a four hour strategy session on maximizing sales opportunities, uh, generating leads, looking at uh, types of offers. But there's this one cool strategy you're gonna be walking through in this intensive that if you, it is, it is a great give and it's very powerful. It positions you with incredible value in the market. Gonna show you how you can literally open the door to generating clients within days. Uh, in fact, some people have generated clients within hours using this tactic. So I'm gonna be sharing that on the website sales intensive. It is on the 18th of June at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. PST. Uh, that's LA PST time. Uh, or Pacific Coast time US. Um, uh, if you go to website salesintensive.com, uh, the ticket buys uh, three homes plumbing, fresh water uh, being plumbed in the homes with taps. Uh, one disadvantaged child is gonna have their education paid for for an entire year. And we're also gonna be giving a beekeeping farm to a village in Kenya so they can support their local communities and their economies uh, 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 with revenue with bees and bees are very important to the planet. So we thought this was a good cause uh, that we're supporting. So this $97 ticket does a lot of good, but you get all the videos, the training, the live interaction. Uh, you're gonna meet some really cool people on the actual training itself. Uh, and we're gonna show you some really key strategies on how to maximize your opportunity to generate um, uh, sales and clients at five and six figures. It is called the website sales intensive, um, um, but if you're doing AdWords, if you're doing Facebook ads, uh, if you're doing Instagram, if you're a web developer, graphic design, copy guy, uh, this training that I'm gonna give is something that's gonna give you some leverage. And it's also gonna give you a level of focus to go out there and add some incredible value. But more importantly, the idea is to open the door to having a customer working with you. So whatever digital marketing agency you're with, uh, this, is, uh, this particular event is something that's designed to open the door to clients, to actually speed up the sales cycle process and more importantly, give you the tools and resources to be able to do that with. So the event is a $97 uh, a web event for good. It's the website sales intensive happening on Thursday, the 18th of June at 9 a.m. PST. Uh, the tickets are, are inclusive of, you'll get a back end membership area where we'll place the recordings. There is a bonus training in there already to your access to, and there's also some resources and, resources and tools that we've placed in there that you can use right away to go and generate some clients. So with that, I wanna thank you. 